Welcome everybody to a new Terraria playthrough. This character specifically is the Dark Healer playthrough. And you may be like, Game Raiders, what do you mean Dark Healer playthrough? Where's the regular healer? Well, you guys are in for a surprise with this series. There's gonna be a Dark Healer and a Light Healer. Yeah, you heard that right. Because Thorium has two different like branches that the healer class separates off to. And one obviously being, you know, regular healer slash support class. Second being a sort of warlock class. Because once you start using these dark items on a healer class, you kind of gain like a weird like buff or something. Something like that. I got to read into it a little bit more. I read into it a little bit like a couple weeks ago and I completely forgot the information. But it's something like that. Like you corrupt your healing power is all I remember. Apparently I picked up a chicken egg from killing something. But yeah. Check out the mod list. It's a really good mod list. I enjoy the mods a lot. And we got a couple of new mods in here, including the mod of redemption. As you can see, we got Louis AFK in here, Vein Miner, because you know, I wanted to see how it was like having all these quality of life mods that everyone always wants me having. And obviously, it's gonna be quality of life. Everything's gonna be a lot easier. We'll see how I feel about it, you know, cause I can just do stuff like this now, ready? Look how easy that is. Now. I feel like this is always my opinion when it came to vein miner. It's a little too easy, you know what I'm saying? The, what the fuck is that? This is a little bit too easy. Like, where's the work? Where's the work? You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's something you should have to work up to. Is being able to vein mine stuff like that. We are using a sword in the beginning because I have no idea how fast we're gonna be able to get our hands on a new healer weapon slash healer weapon in general early game. So that's why I'm gonna be using a sword and also. Let me tell you something here. You ready for this? We're playing as she, spelled she, that's the dark healer, and then he is the light healer, both females. Um, the first two female orcs in existence, well, not in existence, but in the, uh, the lore, I'm gonna die, in the lore, and uh, now she, because in my opinion, I've looked at it, there doesn't seem to be too many dark healer items especially since this character specifically is going to be single player and the other one's going to be multiplayer there's not a lot of dark healer items slash radiant i don't know what to call them we'll just say warlock weapons but i've decided this is something that i've been deciding for a while and i'm trying to figure out what class you should be on i was going to choose the defender class from the centuries expanded centuries mod not centuries expanded it's expanded centuries but i've decided you know since we already have the mod of redemption in here we're gonna use the druid class from the mod of redemption now if you don't know what the druid class is it's a new class obviously adding in by the mod of redemption adds in a bunch of cool weapons armors accessories stuff like that and we have to get these seed bags i don't know which one is just the regular one i think let's just type in seed bag i think this one's just called seed bag okay they all have seed bag in their name <laughs> so maybe i should have thought that out a little bit more there it is the first one seed bag so we just need a sunflower and leather pouch leather pouch so what, what do these do we'll look at it actually when we you know get our hands on the item are these accessories or are these weapons i have no idea there's a little bit too many enemies we're just gonna use whatever we get our hands on until we uh obviously get our hands on usable stuff is there sunflower anywhere oh we're playing with the new calamity version finally because i am playing with t-mod loader 64 and uh t-mod loader 64 is a godsend it's blessing it's a blessing it's a really good thing and i'm happy to have my hands on it finally because i've been wanting to play with the updated version of calamity for a while now we need leather what's the easiest way to craft leather it's gonna look like we have to kill some shit for it it's all good backhand front hand interesting we also have qwerty's mod in here if you can tell qwerty's random content now i've been holding off on using this mod because you know i looked at it a while back it just looked incomplete in my opinion and i was i've been waiting for it to be used or not used waiting for it to uh get completed a little bit more adding a little bit more content you know refine the sprites and stuff like that and then i would add it and i thought you know it's a good time start a new mod or starting a new series time to do it but yeah how this is gonna work the healer and the oh dark healer we're gonna fucking die already who the healer and the dark healer dark healer single player other healer multiplayer as i said already and don't hit me oh my god so the series are gonna take turns back and forth coming out so say if i posted a dark healer today when you're watching this episode then the light healer episode would come out the next day or whenever the next time i post an episode is this is just hell isn't it 
Come on, just let me get past. There we go. But yeah, it's kind of going to be like that. Now, the thing with the light healer is it's a multiplayer series, and I have to get other human beings in it. So that's going to, you know, it's going to be harder to schedule that every now and then. So it might not come out every single time. But I will attempt my best to, you know, cycle back and forth between them. But if worse comes to worse, it'll just be the dark healer episodes coming out. Because it's single player. It's a lot easier for me to record. So I hope you guys understand that when it gets to that point where I just can't post a light healer part yet because I didn't have the people needed to record. And honestly, when I'm recording this right now, this dark healer episode, I don't know who the fuck's going to be in the series. The light healer series. <laughs> I, I, I have an idea of people I want. But, uh, you know, obviously I... They gotta work around my schedule. I gotta work around their schedule. So we gotta figure something out. Hey, check this out. Oh my god, it's so easy. A little bit too easy, like I said earlier. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's figure out how do we're gonna get our first set of items here. Cause we need some we need some weapons. Cause this ain't gonna cut it. You know, using the stuff I have right now ain't gonna cut it. All right, I've died like at least a hundred times now, just trying to explore left and right. Uh, I've been trying to find the jungle and. It's just impossible to find. I don't know what the hell is going on. I went left. I went right. I went right. I went left. Where the fuck is the jungle at, bro? Maybe up there? I don't know. There's some good cinder plate. Don't know what the hell that is. But uh, I got over here to the right. Made it to the corruption. Died. Got over here to the left. Made it to the living wood tree. Died. Got back over here. Almost died again. But uh, this time we have survived. And still no jungle in sight. It's all good. We're slowly gathering ores. But I figured out our first weapon. You ready? make our first weapon together i was trying to get to the uh jungle to pick up an accessory but i don't even why did i make two work just i don't even know what accessories affect us as a uh, damage dealer oh look we can make a staff too stave i didn't even know that oh god there's some cords we can make with this thing this empty core we'll look at that in a second yeah i don't want to touch any of that yet but yeah there's a something what the hell is it called there it is baton boom oh hell yeah we got ruthless we can get rid of that finally it was shoddy are you kidding me uh we can get rid of that and then let's make the stave while we're at it acorn stave it i mean it does exactly what it says uh shooting an acorn shoots an acorn right click will summon a nature pixie it requires 200 mana oof uh we're a little bit far away from that i mean we got we got some stars Still gonna be pretty far away from that and then we got this spins a flimsy wooden baton around you you guys know how it goes my girl she got moves i didn't know she could work a baton that way look at that the animation is actually really good you see their offhand how their offhand actually like you know grabs onto the other part of the what's it called baton <laughs> that's really cool it looks very a very nice good job on the animation storium but they don't need a good job for me to know that they're doing good and that they've always been doing good because it's thorium come on it's thorium man but yeah i'm pretty hyped for this playthrough uh one thing i'm gonna let it be known here in episode one so in the future people won't complain about it uh i do not plan on fighting every single boss in this mod pack i kind of just plan to progress through the whole entire healer slash dark healer classes and you know experience the healer classes that's really it i don't plan to have to fight every single boss uh, we'll obviously be checking out some newer bosses like from Modern Redemption and uh, QWERTY's mod. But I don't plan to fight every single boss. I'm not going to be fighting Yarn. Probably not. Maybe in the multiplayer part. Oh, here we go. We got our first bite. First fight here. Switch to this. Throw an acorn at him. Get him out. Damn, he's taking some hits. But yeah, maybe the multiplayer playthrough, we could take on a couple more bosses. Because obviously it's going to be like two, three, four of us maybe. I don't know. I plan to only have three people. I plan to have Ryan in it, which is my boy, if you don't know. And I plan to have Juiced. That's that's the goal, is those two. But I don't know. We might have to get someone else if someone's busy. I don't know. I still don't know with the healer playthrough. So we might even get back-to-back -back Dark Healer playthrough episodes in the beginning. We might get like 10 Dark Healer playthroughs episodes in the beginning. But yeah, I don't plan to fight any Calamity slash hard bosses that a healer can't take on. Because obviously we're gonna not just be able to maybe we'll be able to with the druid stuff but when we get to that we will we will climb that you know when we get to that mountain we will climb it we'll figure it out when we get there but for now i'm just chilling not gonna worry about it we're just gonna play the dark healer i do plan to have some building streams eventually 
building episodes slash building streams i don't know we'll see what it is because i do want to actually you know make a house for once because i always say it like every series sometimes i complete the houses but it takes a really long time and i think the main reason why it takes me a long time to build houses is mainly because you know a lot of resources slash blocks that i want to use sometimes you have to get them in you know hard mode or sometimes it's just hard to get an abundance of them until you get a certain npc or some stuff so that's one thing that always keeps me from building like last series i wanted to make a mushroom underground like empire but there was this mushroom brick block that i wanted but you don't get it for the longest time and so i just gave up by the time i got it let me see if i can find it this right here you need shroom stone like what the hell is shroom stone so to get shroom stone we need oh <laughs> Dark blue solution and pearl stone is uh, one of the ways you can craft it. As you can see, you need dark blue solution and that takes a while to get. So that's why I uh, usually don't finish my houses slash finish the house from last season. It's because stuff like that. I mean, we finished. We finished Uncle Carius' stuff, kind of. I never did that submarine idea in the uh, aquatic depths and many reasons because I don't think you can you know like build a breathable area down there in the aquatic depth i'm not sure about that i never really tested it but yeah i will try my best to do like a completed house i just need to figure out a, a, a design and then boom we're ready to go i'm thinking you know since we do have oh god he's down here since we do have planetoids you know you know what i'm saying maybe 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 be, we'll be living in the sky you know the last time we lived in the sky in the sky was the uh ranger playthrough from a couple years back slash last season so we'll see all right so i've crafted some cactus armor i am in quite a predicament though as you can see there's a lot of enemies down here there's like four bats what the fuck oh my god and of course you're gonna you sh shield up i don't know what is this called defense up defense curl pokemon type beat come on bro there we go okay i mean we have shuriken so at least we're allowed to do something i am allowing myself to use these weapons because we're a fucking healer of the dark variant all right warlock my bad uh i don't think we're gonna be able to take these things on healer or not diamond crawler skeleton wanderer skeleton dueler is that how you spell dueler uh spiked ice slime these are all enemies that are not easy to fight do i have i do have bombs <laughs> oh shit <laughs> oh god we are uh, in quite a predicament as <laughs> i have made it back to the underground oh god there's a trap right here i didn't even see that but yeah, I have made it back to... No, hold on to that. I made it back to the underground. We're going to see what goodies we can find down here. Because I'm actually down here for more than one reason. That is to hunt ice enemies. So we get the, uh, you know, this stuff. Icy shard. Because with icy shards, we can make icy or ice shaver. Which is a stronger baton. Not much stronger. What the hell? This has a 25% damage bonus. Because it's ruthless and it still does 5 damage. Are you kidding me? How much damage did it do before? Like three? Four damage? I don't know. But uh I'm assuming they did four. Twenty-five percent. Right, Whatever. Uh don't don't catch me doing math. That ain't that ain't my shit. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let me make a lasso. No, that's not what they're called. Coil. Boom. Yes, sir. That's how we get up here. Okay, so we're hopefully gonna find, you know, something like boots would be really nice. You know, get them get that early game gear. Some heart crystals would be nice. That's the main reason I'm down here. Because I feel like ice biomes, they got a little bit of, you know, the best of both worlds. Good ice. Good. Ooh, almost fell. Good crystal spawns. Life crystal spawns. Good chest spawns, obviously. But uh, more importantly, we can get our hands on not only a double jump, which we already have. We can get our hands on those boots, which are pretty damn good, too. Get the hell away from me, please. No, I'm going to just drop down here. If we drop down here and then boom. Nice little jump right before we hit the floor. We're chilling. We can get down here easily. Yeah, I don't know what the hell we're gonna get accomplished in this first episode. I've been recording for like an hour already. I haven't done anything because I keep fucking dying over and over again. Because my weapons are not strong enough. Heart crystal. Look at that. That's how you do it. You mine the ore and you get the crystals at the same time. Do it for this. You can't. Okay. You know what? We gotta kill these things. We have to. So we can get our uh, ice shaver, which will do two more damage than what we currently do 100% worth <laughs> well I don't know if we get like a good reforge on it we might be doing even more than two damage we might be doing three more damage than what we currently do how much do I need for it 
eight. But yeah, for our first armor set, we're probably gonna try and get our hands on a druid set. Because our first healer slash or radiant damage armor set is a uh we don't get that till Blood Moon. Until the Blood Moon comes up and we have to get a bunch of unholy shards from it too. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We might be rocking healer sets slash druid sets on this part of the healer. But for the regular healer, I don't know, I feel like it's gonna be way easier for the regular healer. Because not only will I have two people to defend me, I will have you know way better gear to get because the healer the regular healer has a bunch of more stuff you can get but yeah we'll see we'll probably pick up some normal healer stuff throughout this playthrough because there's only one warlock set i keep saying dark healer we'll say warlock if i remember there's only one warlock set in pre-hard mode uh, and uh, you know like i said we don't get it till blood moon let's see if we can kill this bitch i don't know if we can there was two of these guys can I get her attention? Yeah, come over here. <laughs> 600 health. And shurikens do zero damage. Alright, this should be interesting. Alright, I've been sitting here for a good couple minutes just throwing snowballs in my very few shurikens that I have. Oh, I lost like all of them right there. It's all good. She's almost dead. Just need to hit her like 30 more times. But we're good to go. You know, if we get a crit in there, we don't actually have to hit her 30 more times. Okay, so far not getting a crit at all. It's all good. When's if I just die right now? All this effort would be for nothing. That's why I'm not gonna die or even take a chance. We're just gonna kill her, alright? Don't jump! Oh, fuck. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. It's all good. There you go. A nymph has been killed. We will never see one again. <laughs> well, we have to do the tracker quest. Which I have no idea if I'll do or not. But yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do in this episode. I've just been recording. Not recording, I'm just just trying to accomplish something but i'm having a lot of troubles accomplishing something because i keep fucking dying all right i have gotten my hands on hopefully enough ice i think it was eight it better have been eight because i've been in that ice biome for like a year where is it oh god don't tell okay it was eight right yeah eight oh and we got superior let's go major upgrades boys we went from five damage to eight what a fucking episode. Hey, hold up. I just cut that clip right there. I just, I thought it was body parts on the floor. Y'all seen that at the end of the clip? I thought it was body parts. Death grasps. Oh no, just grasp. Death's grasp seed bag. There's a seed that throws a spooky hand. Whoa. Okay, so that's, is it, are they always going to be like, is this what the druid stuff is? Oh, using mana too. So you can see we almost have enough mana for uh, the summoning part. This is pretty good. I like that. For the summoning part of this, summons a nature pixie. So we just need a couple more stars. Let me see if I can get my hands on some stars. Nightshade. Purple plant that blooms in the night. Purple plant. Is there any druid stuff here? I don't see any druid stuff. It's all. Oh, wait, no, right there. Oops, my bad. I forgot that we gotta look for seed bags, but there is a lot more items than just, you know, bat seed bags. But I guess before. Let's look at this stuff. Like you said, before we end, the, end off the episode, I don't know how much footage I have. I've been playing for a long time. Because I've just been dying over and over again. It's all good. We have been living recently. Not really. I just died like a second ago. Oh my god, it's daytime. Right before we got another star. It didn't matter. We need 40 more mana to summon it. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let me set up a little makeshift home. And uh, get a little, some, some little tiny stuff done before I end off the episode. See what else we can get done. Alright, so the first armor set we can actually make is pretty cheap. Uh, let me see here. Boom, we just need acorns. I only have 27 acorns, really? I mean, we probably don't need that many. But as you can see here, dryads, garland slash dryad set, whatever you want to call it. We just need a druidic altar. No problem, right? I hope. <laughs> Okay, good. We do have a lot of gold. We just need to make an anvil and everything. All right, I had to go mining for a bit. I swear to God, I had a bunch of more gold, but apparently I didn't. So I went mining. We got the gold. I hope we just need six bars. Boom. And then what was it? It was just wood, right? I hope so. Yeah. All right, boom. Druidic altar. I'm assuming this is going to be used to craft a lot of the druid stuff. So we should be good. I hope. Boom. Dryad's armor. Let's get it. We got us an armor set. We don't have to wear this cactus armor set anymore. We are slowly fitting into our class here so two percent two percent four percent mana regen slightly increased and four percent two percent nice what is the set bonus though that's the real question stab swing faster 
so I'm assuming we just we just shoot this a lot more fast. And I can I summon it yet? Still nope. <laughs> Don't have enough to summon it yet. Uh, what was I about to do? Oh, I wanted to see how I looked like in the set. Maybe keep the familiar wig on. Okay, we look okay. We don't really look that uh, evil yet. You know, the whole our whole point right now is to look evil. So I think we will stay with the tax collector gear on. Because we look pretty evil with that on. But yeah, that's going to end off this first episode. I don't know how long slash how short it was. But I will see y'all in the next episode. It's either going to be the healer, the actual healer in multiplayer. Or it's going to be another dark healer episode. Depends, like I said, if I can get the people ready and get, you know, an actual session done. But yeah, I will see y'all next time. Make sure the little dog is up. Hey guys, one more thing before this video ends. I actually have merch for sale right now. I made the shop finally go live for merch. And currently, there's a 20% off for like the next two weeks. So make sure to cop, all right? It's some pretty nice merch. The designs were done by Wombo Sloth. And I would appreciate it a lot. Who doesn't want to wear a shitty YouTuber's logo on their chest, am I right?